What's going on, YouTube? Today, we have my favorite MLB DFS players for both DraftKings and FanDuel for Wednesday, April 11th, 2018. These are going to be my favorite players at each position. And at the end, I'm going to reveal my favorite player of the day and who I think is going to be a great play. But I think all of these are going to be a great play. It's just at the end, I'm going to reveal my favorite. Uh, before I get into it, the software I'm using, because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions, is Draft Dashboard. And I will leave a link in the description so you can try it out for seven days for only $1. And it's literally going to turn you in from, you know, I'm just going to assume you're not great at DFS and to literally like a pro. That's what it's done for me. I win literally 80 to 90% of my contests now just because of the software. So if you are serious about winning some actual money on DFS, be sure to hit the link in the description so you don't miss out on this limited seven-day trial for just $1. But without further ado, we are going to get into it. So at pitcher, I like Robbie Ray. Um, a reason I really like him is not only was he ranked 100 by Draft Dashboard, but his cost per point is pretty low compared to everyone else. It looks like it's the lowest on the board right here. As well as, you know, he's got a pretty decent matchup going against the 20th best hitting team. So not a ton of great hitters there. Um, and he's been decent. You know, the past two games have been you know, the last game was really good. Game before that was all right. And the three games before that weren't so great. But I think versus matchup, uh, Robbie Ray is going to do very good. So I like him the best at pitcher. There's nobody I was really in love with on this slate, but I like Robbie Ray the best. So for catcher in first base, I'm liking my guy, Eric Thames. I like this play a lot. Um, he's projected a lot of points for only costing 3,500. As you can see, like here, Hosmer costs 37 and he'll only project 11. But Thames is projected 14. He does bat quite a bit better against lefties, which is good. Um, he's been pretty solid, you know, about 19, 25. Um, so two out of the past five games, he's been pretty solid. Um, but I think he's going to have another solid outing in this game versus the 22nd best pitching staff, which isn't very good. Um, and draft dashboard did go ahead and rank him a 100. So definitely something to be noted. I think Eric Thames is definitely a good play at first base without having to spend all the way up on a guy like, you know, Freddie Freeman or Freddie might be the most expensive right now. But, you know, you're saving or no Paul Goldschmidt. So you're saving about nine hundred dollars by not spending on a guy like this and Thames is actually projected the most on the board so because as you can see here 12.2 and Thames is projected 14.2 at second base we have Joey Wendell I love this play too Wendell is very cheap way underpriced as you can see he's projected about 12 points um, he does bat quite a bit better against lefties he's got a great matchup versus bad pitching staff and Wendell has just been so good lately, especially for his price. 22, 16, 12. You know, Wendell has been such a great play the past three nights. And you can't not go with him because he's got such a great matchup. Um, he hits better against lefties. And Draft Dashboard ranks him as 100. And he's just projected a good amount of points for costing so little. So I've played Wendell the past two out of the three nights. And he's done amazing both nights. So I do want to go with Wendell again. At third base... We have Matt Carpenter. Um, he's got a good matchup against lefties, which he hits better against. Projected a decent amount of points. Um, his fantasy cost per point isn't too high, as well as he's got another great matchup, 28th best in the MLB. Um, so, you know, there's definitely some potential for getting some hits and stuff. Uh, ranked 99, definitely something to be noted. He's batting third, which is a good spot for RBIs. Um, and he, three out of the past five games have been decent, you know, 35 about 10 and then nine. So I think he's got potential to do well. As you can see, you know, Matt Carpenter is a guy that has home run power too. So very interesting play there. I do like Matt Carpenter a lot at third. At shortstop, I like Gene Segura. Um, not the greatest pitching matchup ever, but it's also almost in the bottom third of the MLB. Uh, but he does hit way better against Ray. He's plus 50%. Um, he's projected about 11 points. And he's batting second, so, you know, he'll get a lot of at-bats. You know, he can, you can see he's averaging 4.2 at-bats per game. Um, and he's just been solid, you know, 31 points, 15 points, 18 points. And Draft Dashboard did go ahead and rank him pretty well. So I like Gene Segura as a guy where you don't have to spend, you know, 4400 or 4300 for. 
but you can still get about the same amount of points you would if you were to spend up at those positions. In the outfield, I have Nick Delmonico, another value play I completely love. Um, and the reason being is he's going against the 30th best pitching staff in the MLB. You know, he's batting fifth, so good spot for RBIs. Draft dashboard did go ahead and rank him as 100. And you can see, you know, he had 28 points last game. And so, and he also had nine two games ago, which he's projected about 10 points. His fantasy cost per point is so low. You can't not go with him, especially in this matchup. I love Nick Delmonico in this matchup. All right, everybody. So the play you have been waiting for, who is my favorite play of the day? And it's this man right here, Tommy Pham. Now, why do I like Tommy so much? Um, well, first off, he's projected almost 13 points at only costing 3300 His cost per fantasy point is ex not extremely, but pretty low. Um, I think second lowest compared to Nick Delmonico. He's got another great matchup uh, against the 28th best pitching staff. And Tommy's been, you know, he hasn't been amazing, 6.2, 6.2. But I think he does come out, and Tommy will have a good game batting second. He's going to get a good amount of bats. Um, so I, this is my favorite play of the day. Yes, he won't score the most points of the day, but I think for the value you're going to get with Tommy, it's just going to be really good versus a good matchup, project a lot of points, um, and doesn't cost too much. So Tommy Pham is my favorite play of the day. And also, if you guys want to see my updated lineups, because they do change, if you do sign up for that seven-day trial with my link, if you come over to watch players when you sign up, you can click watch Andrew Man Picks, and it's going to show all of my watch players throughout the day. And I do consistently upload uh, different lineups and stuff throughout the day. So if you do want to get access to that, all you have to do is sign up for that one-day trial. So you can, like, 10 minutes before, you know, the games actually start, I'll, you know, make my lineup final, basically. And then you guys can throw in those guys. So I do appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because if you haven't noticed, I make DFS videos every single day. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another one.